Well, welcome back here to West Washington High School for tonight's uh, varsity basketball contest featuring the boys team here. Girls uh, game just ended. The Lady Senators getting a uh, win here tonight over the Lady Lancers of Edinburgh. Welcome back to the broadcast. Caden uh, Abbott along with me tonight. Uh, this is Bub Abbott, and we'll bring you the, uh, the game here this evening. Uh, Professor Craig Akers running the board for us, so back in action here. Uh, for, I wanted to apologize about last night. We just didn't get to, to it with school being out and uh, not having uh, things set up, so we didn't get down there to Perry Central last night when the boys uh, played. And... Uh, unfortunately come out on the losing end of that game a two-point loss there to perry central in conference play so senators still with just two wins on the uh season and uh just looking to get more here but a tough task tonight against a very good edinburgh team a team ranked number two in class 1a here in uh, indiana high school basketball and uh, the lancers coming in with a perfect record at 10 and 0 Caden. Yeah, um, they're without uh, Landon Burton tonight. Their best player averaging 22. Uh, he's sick. So, uh, yeah, they're without him. But uh, they still got some other ball players that will uh, probably step up and play for him. Yeah, I know uh, you were able to go up and do the Clay City tournament, which was the last uh, time that we were on there with the boys team. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, played some good basketball up there. Got a big win. Uh, over Benton 3A Central. school, Benton Central. And then uh, I know Coach Sullivan wasn't real happy about the outcome of that uh, last round game. Riverton Park. Yeah, when Riverton Park was able to uh, win and didn't think the kids played uh, extremely well. Come back last night, though, and played pretty well against Perry Central. Uh, a pretty evenly matched game. And, uh, you know, the, the young Senators just still trying to find ways to close out these tight games. You know, we've We've seen a few of them that they've played in, and we've come out on the losing end of that. The first game here with Salem, and then uh, able to get revenge on them during that holiday tournament. But uh, you know, the Senators still looking for wins, and uh, you know, tonight going to be without uh, Ian Rosenbaum, still nursing uh, an injury that he got up there in the Clay City tournament. So uh, you know, still still struggling a little bit. Uh, Trying to find our way with the young young basketball team, and it'll be a tough task here tonight. Yeah, uh, Caden Zink's back. Uh, he was on code protocol the last couple weeks for Christmas in that Clay City tournament. So we were out him, but we still picked up a win there against Benton Central, like you said. So uh, hopefully we can get one tonight. Would be a really huge confidence booster oh. against the number two team in the 1A. Yeah, it would be. And, you know, uh, you look at, at Edinburgh, uh, and, and their basketball team here tonight, definitely with a, a size advantage. Uh, you know, they got Landon Burton, a 6'5", uh, forward He's the kid that's out. Oh, he's the one that's hurt, or, yeah. Uh, out. Yeah, and then uh, 32, Travis Jones, a uh, forward 6'4", and, um, and a senior as well. And then uh, you, you just look across their, uh, you know, their senior lead, and we've seen that with a lot of teams that we've faced so far, you know, so – uh, the Senators with the young basketball team, uh, you know, they're going to have to uh, have to play lights out here tonight and uh, against a, a very, very good basketball team. Yeah, uh, you know, we're going to have to have more kids step up because I'm sure they'll be uh, guarding lane pretty tight tonight. They got a 6'4", 6'3", 6'2", and 6'3", and 6'3", so even off the bench, they'll have someone that can guard him and handle him. So, uh We'll have to see if anybody else will step up for us. Uh, Kenton and uh, Jackson Cameron played pretty good the uh, second and third game. And uh, Mason Cox played pretty good the second game. Of that tournament, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they got to come back here tonight. You know, Lane Hoffler's led this team uh, throughout the season. And, uh, you know, we got to get a, a big scoring game out of him here tonight. But, uh, you know, coming in, all these teams, you know, with the, with the film and scouting, you know, they – they know that, and and a lot of these teams have just kind of picked their poison. They'll they'll double down on Lane most of the night. Probably, I'm sure Edinburgh will do the same thing and and force somebody else from West Washington to score. And that's been our problem. We've had games where, you know, we just we just haven't been able to find the basket with anybody but Lane. But some of the kids now, you know, uh, halfway through confidence. the season, they're starting to find it a little bit. You're right. Yeah, Jackson found his especially in that Clay City tournament. 
Uh, I think he had 12 against Benton Central with uh, about four. They may all came from threes. It was either three or four threes. Yeah. And uh, well, what were you going to say? No, go ahead. I was just going to say that, you know, we've had to dress a couple of the JV kids. Silas Bat dressed for the varsity game tonight. Uh, Silas gives you another big body uh, yeah, inside six there at, at six two and a and a big strong kid. So, you know, uh, we just had to. We're still a young basketball team, you know, with with the lone senior and just a couple juniors. So, you know, a young team here for West Washington, and I know we keep preaching that, but uh, you know, that's just the the, the fact of the matter. Uh, you know, that's just the way it is. So. Good crowd here at uh, West Washington this evening here on the Ron Smith Court for this basketball game as both teams have returned in to the locker rooms for uh, final instruction. And they'll be back out here shortly and we'll have our uh, na uh, starting lineups. National Anthem was played before the girls game. And uh, congratulations to Coach Myers and the Lady Senators on a big win here this evening uh, as well. Yeah, I mean, they played pretty good from what I saw. I think the JV got a win. The boys' JV team did against Edinburgh. So, uh, well, I'm pretty sure they did because they were up 12 when I left, came in here and watched the girls' game. Right, absolutely. I was going to look real quick here and see. You know, you look down Edinburgh's schedule, as we mentioned, they're undefeated on the year. Um, you know, and they play some, some pretty tough competition. They got a big win the second game of the year against Indian Creek, who's a 3A school. Uh, and if you look at their uh, their average scoring, you know, they're averaging somewhere in the mid-60s with the Senators averaging, you know, somewhere right around 40 points a game. So, you know, they're, they're an offensive team, no doubt. They play some great uh, 1A competition as well as they played Waldron, who has been a 1A power over the years uh, and got a win over them. They also played Hauser, another 1A school. Uh, Monrovia, a 3A school. Uh, they beat Lanesville 20 in the tournament that they played in over the holiday break uh, that they won, and then they finished that out by beating Indianapolis Lutheran, who has always been a, a great 1A basketball team, and that was their last outing back on December 29th uh, where they beat uh, Lutheran uh, by uh, 12 points in that contest. So, you know, <laughs> Lancers coming in. A great squad, uh, you know, and uh, really looking to do big things in, in 1A ball this year. Yeah, they're really an experienced team, like you mentioned. You know, we don't have too many experienced kids. Most of our bench tonight is going to be freshmen coming in. I think there's three juniors in Tate. I don't know if he's still hurt or what happened to him. So, yeah, I, I think he has been, and we haven't seen him since uh, – probably the second basketball game of the year, you know, uh, so, um, and that hurts a little bit because, uh, you know, Tate was a, a 6-1 uh, sophomore and uh, in that sophomore class that were pretty well sophomore team, you know, you look at it, like I said, we got two juniors and one senior and the rest of them been sophomores, so, um, you know, the youth uh, definitely prevailing here for the Senators, but, um, you know, that's that's how you build a team. And I know Coach Sullivan uh, has been happy with uh, what they've done at, at, at some points. Just got to get somebody else to score, like you said. that's That's been the big problem. And, uh, you know, uh, they're starting to find it, I think. It, it'll come around. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're playing pretty – they played pretty well in the tournament up there. They had uh, close games they lost to. I, I can't remember the first game what it was, but – I'm pretty sure it was in single digits loss. And then the second game gave a big win there. And then the third game lost by four. I think it was like 52 to 54 maybe. Yeah, I was trying to well, trying 56. to look it up here in that tournament. Uh, we uh, Traders Point uh, lost to them in that first game, 56-43, and then uh, beat Benton Central by a bucket. And then North of a million uh, lost by six. And yeah. then, of course, last night, the last outing, uh, Perry Central got us by a bucket there in the, in that game. So, you know, we've had a lot of close games. You know, we, we like I said, we've played some tight ones. And they just got to gotta find some more scoring here and, uh, you know, see what they can do against Edinburgh tonight. Defense is going to be a key. And uh, we'll see how the Senators can, can come out here tonight. Like I said, great crowd here this evening for this doubleheader, uh, and it was good to see the girls. The first time I got to see them this year 
and uh, they played they played really well and got a big W here. They continue to build on their season. I think I was looking today; they were ten and four, I believe, coming in. So uh, eleven and four now in the year. So uh, that's a big win for them. And uh, Edinburgh also a sectional opponent. So this is a team that we could see again uh, down the road, and possibly will if um, you know if uh, depending on how that sectional draw pans out. But. Uh, uh, clock winding down, about a minute to go as both teams return over to their prospective benches here. We'll get our starting lineups. Caden and I are going to share the duties tonight. I'm going to do the first quarter, and we'll get him in for the second and the fourth. We'll just kind of split things up a little bit as uh, we continue to uh, to bring you the basketball games here. Appreciate you all tuning in. We need to take a break here. A word from the sponsor, uh, and then we'll come back with our starting lineups here at West Washington. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. All right, back here live at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court as we prepare for this contest tonight. Yes, we are going to get our national anthem again, so we'll take a break, hear the anthem, and come back with the starting lineups here on your home for Senator Sports. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave all right, back here live as we'll get our starting lineups here for both teams as uh, Edinburgh will be introduced first. Caden, uh, I'll let you run them down. Uh, first guard, number three, Caleb Dewey, 6'3". The other guard, number 10, Riley Palmer, 6'3", 2". And Jared Turner will get the start at the other guard, 5'10". And at the one forward, Six five. Who was it? Uh, twenty four. Twenty four. Landon Burt. Oh, actually, he is playing. I thought okay. it was. Me. I thought the other kid was twenty four. And at the big thirty two, Travis Jones. He's six four. Also. All right. So very and tall lineup here. Yeah, Edinburgh. very very tall height advantage. Now for the West Washington Senators here this evening, as they get introduced here, our starting lineup for Clayton Sullivan Senators here this evening. as they have the uh, pre-game announcements here. Number five, Caden Zink, the senior guard. And to get to start once again here this evening. So nice to see Caden back. You know, yeah. one of the kids that will take his shot when he has it. Number 20. 
Lane Hofler will uh, start as well. He is a 6'5 junior for the Senators. Number 22, Kent Chase will start at one guard. He's 5'11 and a sophomore for Coach Sullivan. Number 24, Titan Williams will get the start, 6'2", uh, and also a sophomore. Number 10, Grayson McCoy gets his first start. Third start. Third start? Okay. Yeah, he started twice at the tournament. Oh, did he? Okay, at the tournament. Yeah, I wasn't there, so I guess that's why. Oh, my Okay. Gotcha. All right, here we go. We'll get ready to jump it up and get this game underway here at uh, West Washington. As it looks like uh, Lane Hoffler and also 24 Landon Burton will jump jump center here. The tip goes up and it's tipped by Hoffler. Saved in bounds by Kenton Chase into Titan Williams. Back to Kenton and we're underway here at West Washington. Kenton will bring it across the timeline. Dribbles far side, looks, nobody there. Gets it out to Titan Williams, out high on the court, off to Hoffler. Lane will pull it down. He's being guarded there by 32 Jones. I don't believe Jones can stay with him, and he doesn't. He fouls. As Jones fouls him as he goes uh, to the basket. So good move there, and that's No, that's, they're going to call that one on the floor. Okay. Well, that's going to be a foul against Jones, and I don't think he can stay with Lane. Yeah, though. Lane's just a little too quick for him there. So the ball will come inbounds. Hoffler throws it out. It comes into Caden Zink. He'll pull it down. Dribbles in free Double throw dribble. line, and he turns it over. So first turnover of the night against the Senators as he took uh, one too many steps there. It'll go back over to the Lancers as they'll inbound here. Smart move here by Coach Sullivan running a 2-3. You know, I mean, they would out height us and probably right. out physical us in every standard here. Senators set back in the zone. Turner out high finds uh, Jones down low and travel. He travels with it, so a turnover against the Lancers as they have their first. Each team starting a, their first possession with a turnover. I guess he thought he was going to get a foul call. He kind of just stopped. So the Senators get it back. Kenton Chase will bring it up for West Washington. Crosses the timeline as he sets it up here on the near side. Hoffler with it, looking. Now gets it out to Titan Williams. Back to Kenton Chase. Kenton will drive, takes it in low, and gets it blocked. Yeah but stolen away by Hoffler. He'll pull it down and shoot it, and he got it to go. First bucket of the game there for Lane. Probably many more to come. Well, we hope so. Two to nothing, Senators other side. Number three pulls up and shoots a long three. No good. Rebound pulled down, however, as uh, Tur Burton was able to get it. Now he gets it off to Turner. Now back out high, it'll come to uh, Turner. Now over to number 10, Riley Paul meter. Meter with it. Now back out high. It'll go to Burton. Now Paul Meter will shoot the three, and he hit it. So Paul Meter with the first bucket for the Lancers, three to two. Now they got him on lane. Looks and like they're switching up a little bit. Lane will pull it down, shoot a deep three off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound pulled down by Burton. Out and running. He gets it up quickly to Dewey. He'll pull it down baseline, shoot it, got it. So quick it. quick uh, team here. They're running it quick. Dewey gets his first bucket, 5-2. to two. Edinburgh, as Kenton Chase brings it across, he'll get it off to McCoy. Grayson with it. Out throws it far side. Titan Williams back to Kenton Chase. Kenton will wheel around, top of the circle, as they're just all over lane here once again. We've seen that all year long. Yeah. Kenton will drive far side, gets it off to McCoy. McCoy wheels back around, gets it out to Kenton. He'll break the pressure now and tried to kick it out to Williams. It's tipped away, but they're going to say West Washington touched it last, so it'll go back to the Lancers in the second turnover of the night on uh, the Senators. That wasn't a very good call, I didn't think. I thought they back-tipped the ball out of bounds. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm, that's why I'm up here and not down there. So they'll bring it up as Dewey brings it across. He'll get it back out high to number 12, Turner. Deep pass down though, and it's a bounce off the board, it, it and, hit the thing. and one as the rebound pulled down there by 24. Uh, Burton, yep. Lane Hoffler gets called for the first foul, his first of the night, team's first. 
And that will put Burton at the free throw line. A chance to complete the three-point play here. Seven to two, Edinburgh. He hits a free throw. So it's eight to two here early on with 526 to go in the first quarter. Kenton Chase to bring it up. He'll cross the timeline for the Senators. He'll dribble here near side. Now goes on the attack. Dribbles back the other way. Pulls it down. Looks. Nothing there. And he'll flip it back to Lane. Hoffler with it out high on the court. Top of the circle. He looks. Now kicks it back to Kenton far wing. Kenton will drive back out near the timeline. Now takes off. Gets it in the corner to Caden Zink. He lost it. Out to Hoffler. Lane with it. Back to Kenton. He'll shoot a deep three ball. Can't get it to go. Titan Williams with a hustle rebound, however. He pulls it down, finds McCoy, back to Hoffler. He shoots a deep three and got it. 32, he don't look like the most athletic kid on the floor, but he's actually kind of surprised me. Yeah, yeah, he has. He gets up and down pretty quick. Back the other way for Edinburgh, tipped away and stolen by, by the Zink. Senators as Hoffler comes down with it. Now he gets it almost stolen, and he's backing over. So another turnover. That's three already here in the first quarter for the Senators. 4.32 to go, Edinburgh eight. West Washington, five. Lancers will get it back as they'll inbound. Caleb Dewey to throw it in. He'll get it in to number 12, Turner. Turner will bring it across the timeline. Now sets it off here. Riley Paul meter with it. Inside pass. Pulled down and shot it by Dewey. No good. Rebound battle for him. Hoffler. They call it jump ball. Oh, my goodness. He was Lane all is over not Lane's happy hands. At all. Yeah, he grabbed Lane's arm. Ken, well, not Ken, but Grayson's trying, trying to calm, to calm down him Lane. down. Yep. Lancers will get it back. They'll inbound. It'll come out high as they'll throw it out to Dewey. Deep three in the corner. They're shot up by uh, number 12, Turner. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Senators. And Kitten chase back the other way for West Washington. He'll drive. Nothing there. Kicks it out high. Hoffler with it. Pulls we'll see it down. Travis back on Lane. Lane will shoot a. Yep. Jump shot, that's good. Got it. So Lane's got all our points at this point, and he pulls us within. Uh, actually took uh, eight to seven will be the score as we're down one point here in the first quarter. And, Stolen away by Lane. Yep, another steal by Hoffler. So another turnover by the Lancers. So they'll get it off Hoffler with it. Now to Titan Williams. Titan will drive, goes in the free throw line, gets cut off back to Hoffler. He'll shoot another three. Ooh, in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Dewey, and he's off and running for the Lancers. He'll pull it down, goes in the lane, lost it, and it's still by Titan. So center is playing really good D right now yes, against this have. number two team in 1A. I think they're number one offense in 1A. They get it back, Caden Zink. He drives, nice pass to McCoy, and McCoy scores. Senators so. take their first lead of the night. Well, not second lead of the night, nine to eight. Yep, 9-8 now with uh, three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Edinburgh back the other way. They get it off there to Paul Meter. Now out high it comes to Jones. Back over to Jones on the deep pass. He'll shoot the three ball off the front of the rim. Rebound by Caden Zink as he pulls it down. And the Senators with a little momentum here as they lead 9-8. Kenton Chase will bring it back up for West Washington. Gets it off to McCoy here on the near wing. He looks, nothing there. Now he finds Caden Zink driving. Caden has to pull it out of there, though, as he went in against the Giants. There. Yeah, McCoy, uh, well, not, well, Zink's had some of the taller kids on him. He's just blown right past them. Yeah, he's he's showing his speed there. Kenton, far side, gets it off the Hoffler. Lane will pull it down, backs up, looks at the three, but nothing there. So he kicks it back over. McCoy, now back to Hoffler, now back out to Chase. Kenton with it. Out high on the court. He'll set the offense, goes far side to Williams, Titan. Pulls it down, gets it out to Hoffler. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three, and he got it. Lane with another three-pointer, and he puts the Senators up here 12-8, to eight, a four-point lead with two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Whatever uh, Coach Sullivan has done this week, is, it's working right yep, now. Yeah, sure has. They get it to deep far side on the wing. Shot up no good. Rebound, however, by Burton as he goes back up in and scores. Yeah, he's just too big for anybody. I'm sorry, that was Jones, actually, yeah. who scored. 12 he's just 10. Really too big for anybody on the floor. He's tall and uh, bigger. Lane with an NBA three-pointer. Rebound McCoy back up. He can't get it to go, and rebound pulled down by Jones. He throws a leak-out pass, and they save it on the baseline as they'll kick it back out. Burton now for a deep three. It's off the mark. Hoffler gets fouled. On the rebound as Jones just picked up his second personal. 
So 12 to 10 here with the 121 to go. Mason Cox will come in for McCoy and Cameron will come in for Zink. So Zink and McCoy playing really well right now, especially McCoy. He's got the only point except Lane for the Senators right now. Yeah, so he sure does. played a really good first quarter here against this number two team in the state in 1A Edinburgh. 12 to 10 as Kenton Chase will bring it up for West Washington. Hoffler with it now. He'll flip it out. Jackson Cameron in the game, as you mentioned. He pulls up, kicks it back to Kenton. Kenton looking now, flips it off to Hoffler on the far side, back to Kenton. Kenton will drive, gets it tipped away from him, and Hoffler will come up with a loose ball. He'll pull it down. Free throw line shot, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Edinburgh as it's pulled out of there by Paul Meter. Oh, almost, almost stolen, stolen by Mason. Mason as Cox tips it away from the backside, and it'll go back to the Lancers here right in front of the Senator bench with 48 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Jacob Turner inbounds. He'll get it in. Comes in to Dewey. Back to Turner. Turner with it. He'll dribble back out high and set the offense. Goes far side to Dewey. Back to Turner, back to Dewey now. Now baseline as they pull up, 23 with the basketball. Stolen and by Mason And almost Cox. stolen by Cox, he dies for it. Mason's been hustling, he hustles a lot. They give that back to. Is that to the Senators? Yeah, he, he pointed West Washington's way. He pointed the wrong okay. way, that's what he's saying. Yeah, it, it, it was off Mason Cox. Zink will come in for uh, Kenton, so Kenton will take a seat. Kenton played really well. So Turner to inbound with 27 seconds on his own baseline. He gets it in, flips it right back to him on the inbound pass, air ball shot, no good. Jackson Stolen by Cameron, Cameron. Steals it away, gets it off the hopper. Playing with it, he'll slow it down now. Pressure on him, he'll drive. And he'll back it back out. 11 seconds. Gets it off to Zink. Caden with it out high with seven seconds. Six seconds. Gets it off and a steal by Edinburgh as they'll drive and block from behind by Hofer. Number 10 went up for Paul Meter and uh, he think He, he thought he was going to dunk it. Yeah, I think he did. He was going slow. He was waiting for it. And Lane, so Lane, Lane come in, knocked it out him. of bounds with mm -hmm. 0.3 seconds here. So. They'll have time for a catch and shoot here. I'm sure they'll just throw it up high. And it's thrown up no good. So that ends the first quarter of play. The Senators with a great first quarter here as they lead it. 12-10 yeah. to 10 over Edinburgh. We'll take a break here. A word from the sponsor. Come back here with your second quarter on your home for Senator basketball, WWSR. Expertise. Resources. Commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, back here live at West Washington High School as we get ready to start the second quarter of action here. Senators 12 and Edinburgh 10. Caden will take the play-by-play uh, -play here in the second quarter. And uh, all Lane Hoffler for West Washington. He's got McCoy. 10 of our 12. McCoy's got two. Yeah, McCoy's got the only other basket. So we'll turn it over to you and you can do this second quarter for us. Mason Cox, he'll pass it in for centers. Gets it in to Kenton. Kenton will bring it up. He'll set the offense up. He'll dribble around to the right wing. Over to McCoy. Well, not McCoy. Cameron. Zink on the left wing. Back to Kenton. Kenton drives, kicks it out to Zink. Zink looks over to Cameron on the wing. Back to Kenton. Kenton will drive. Tries to get it in the lane, almost stolen away, but Lane will recover it into Mason Cox. Mason Cox will drive, gets blocked though. So number 12, Jarrett Turner, he'll have it. He'll bring it up over to number 23, Baylor Brandt. Back to Jarrett. Turner will get it at number 22, Connor Ramey. 
over to number three. Gets blocked by Lane, though, no call. Foul, that was all ball. That's a second, two on Lane. So he's got to be careful here in this first half. He's got two, the only two fouls we have. At this point in the game, both teams with just two fouls, so that's kind of rare through that first quarter. Yeah, I mean, especially with for us, Lane having those two, which is not good. He he played pretty good though. Who was it? It was River. I think it was Ben Central actually. He had four, buddy. I mean, he stayed alive for a half and didn't pick up any fouls and played pretty smart. So I say he'll probably play smart tonight and try to play a little bit smarter. Now he's got two. Dewey so, got one of two. Yeah, there. he got one of two. Kenton will bring it up for the Senators. Over to uh, Lane. Lane will drive. No call. Foul. Now be on number 11, Travis Vidal. Is he in the game? Yeah, yeah he's yes, he is. Lane will pass it in to Mason Cox in the corner. Over to Jackson Cameron. He'll shoot deep three. And Got it's good. It. Nice shot, Jackson. So that will put it to 15 to 11. Senators up. Edinburgh is still not scored. Turner will bring it up. He'll get it number 23, Bryant. Back to Bryant. He'll shoot. And it's no good. Rebounded by Lane. Lane will bring it up for the Senators. No, he'll kick it to Kenton. We'll bring it up. Over to Cameron in the corner. He'll shoot another three. No good. Rebounded by Caden Zink. Back to Cameron. Cameron will drive. Shoot a jumper. No good. Fight for the rebound. Mason Cox will tip it out of bounds. Boy, so, Mason was battling yeah. down low there. Him and, and they Zink just, got the uh, yeah. one. They've done a nice job getting on the boards, and they got a four-point lead here, 15 <laughs> to 11. Number 24, Landon Burnt. He'll come in for number 11, Travis Vital. And number 20, who was it? Oh, it was number 10. Number 10, Riley Palmer. Palm Eater, he'll come in for, who did he come in for? He came in for 12, Jarrett Turner. Titan Williams checked in yeah. for the Senators as well. 24 lane of burnt, he'll have it. Back to number 10. Uh, where's he? Paul Meter. He'll have it back on the wing. Paul Meter will. Think about the shot doesn't, though. Number three, Caleb Dewey will have it. He'll make a move. Shoots a deep three. No good. Rebounded by number 23, Bryant. And they'll call a travel on number 22, oh, Connor Rainey. That's their fifth turnover here in the first half. Uh, so the... You go. No, no, I just call them the turnovers. The Lancers are having a uh, big problem here with turnovers in this first half. Kenton will have it. He'll take it up. Guarded tightly by number 10, Paul Meter. Kenton a little fast for Paul Meter there. Over to Cameron, back to Kenton in the corner. Kenton will drive, kicks, comes back out though. Cameron will have it. Back to Kenton at the top. Kenton will look around. Drives. Shoots. Nice no take. Good, but, re but uh, foul. Wow. Yeah. I think that one's going to be on Paul Meter. Yeah, we'll see who they get it on here, but uh, I believe you're right. Nope. Called it on 20. 22, uh, Connor Ramey. So he'll pick up his first. Kenton will shoot two here. And it's the first one's good, so that'll make it 16 with 5:36 to 11. Kenton with his first bucket or first points of the night well, on the free throw. Yeah. So Senators up by five. Kenton's looking to make it six, and he does. So first half, 5:36 to go, 17-11. Yep, good first half so far for the Senators. Yeah. Here. Connor Ramey will bring it up for the Lancers. He'll get it number three, Caleb Dewey. Over to number 10, Paul Meter. Back to Caleb Dewey in the corner. He'll drive, kicks over to number 24, Landon Burnt. He'll shoot a jumper. No good. Rebounded by Lane. Boy, they can't hit. They're, yeah. they're struggling to shoot right now. Jackson Cameron will have it. Kick it back to Kenton. Kenton will drive over to Zink. Zink will pump fake, but they'll oh. get him for a travel. Boy, I didn't think he did. Maybe he did. He took off with it a little early. Yeah. Another turnover is five now for Senators as well. So both teams with five turnovers here in this first uh, half of play. So uh, Ramey will have it. He'll bring it up. Over to number 10, Paul Meter. Guarded tightly by Zink. Back to Paul Meter. Over to number 23, Bryant. Over to Ramey. Paul Meter in the post. Kicks out number 23. Bryant, he'll shoot a three. No good. 
Rebounded by number two, Ramey, though. He'll kick it back out. Paul Meter gets it, but stolen away. Good oh, job. Well, he lost it. Yep, another turnover. So, center's ball, so that puts them with six turnovers, center's with five. Still 17-11 with 4.37 to go in the first half. They just haven't done a very good job taking care of the basketball, yeah. and they haven't been able to hit shots, and that's really hurt them here at this point. Yeah, so Kenton will bring it up. He'll call play. Guarded tightly by Dewey. Over, he'll drive, though. Kenton will drive and one. And Dewey is not happy about that call. He, he called the technical Oh, technical on Dewey. So there'll be four – Two free throws here by Senators. He'll get the one and one. And I'm sure they'll have Lane shoot the other free throw. It's what we saw against uh, Benton Central anyways. Lane had 19 free throws. He went 19 for 21 against Benton Central just on free throws and had three total field goals. So Kent will shoot both of them actually. Well, he'll get the and one here because they scored the yeah, bucket. Yeah, and then he'll shoot the technicals. So then we'll see if he shoots the technicals. I'm sure he will. he make the and one, so that puts it at 20 to 11, 425 to go in the first half. Now the technical free throw is coming. Yeah, and he'll shoot that one, and it's good. So 21-11. Gets one more, apparently. Oh, yeah, you get two shots oh, yeah. in the ball on the technical. Yeah. So that was a huge uh, foul there against Dewey. So uh, Dewey pick up his second. He's going to get subbed out. Number 12, uh, Jarrett Turner, he'll come back in. And number 32, Travis Jones will come in. So the uh, Lancers will take a timeout. The full, full timeout. So we'll take a quick break and hear a word from the sponsors. Be back here on WWSR. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. We'll have it. He'll bring it up for the Senators. Over to Ken. So Ken will have it. Looking. Lane getting hacked. Fighting through it. Gets it to Lane. Top of key. Lane will shoot a three. Nope. No, he doesn't actually. <laughs> yeah. Kicks it off to Titan. Kind of pass that one in midair there. Zink will have it in the corner. Kenton will get it back on the wing. Kenton will look. Call play. Little mismatch there. Number 22. Uh, Ramy on Lane. So they're looking for Lane. Number 24. Lane and Burt will get on him though. Lane will shoot a jumper from the free throw line. Mm, no good. Rebounded by number 32. Travis Jones. So they had the mismatch, they just couldn't get it into them. Yeah, they, they were able to yeah. uh, convert and change over their defense yeah. there. So Ramey will have it over to Turner on the wing. He'll get it in number 10. Oh, that's uh, a per Yeah, that's a charge. Yeah, he call meter, so he'll get a charge call. Who took that? I that, that was Lane. Lane took it. And that was dangerous. So that was risky there. Yeah, because yeah, he's got three. two. And, uh, he could have had three there. So uh, McCoy will come in for the Senators. He'll get Jackson Cameron. Yep, and they're starting to rack the up full some court fouls press, yeah. too here, Edinburgh is. Yeah, and they're full court pressing. So Kenton will have it. He'll bring it up over to McCoy on the wing. Guarded tightly by Ramey. Gets the mismatch again, Lane does. He'll look over to Kenton on the wing though. So they got Travis Jones on uh, Caden Zink right now. Zink will have it on the wing. He'll shoot a three. And it's, oh, oh in and out. But rebounded nice rebound. by Lane. He'll turn around to shoot it. Oh, he and he it. misses it. Man, good try there. So Ramey will bring it up over to number 10. Paul Meter, he'll drive. And they'll say, what, wow, foul? On McCoy, I on believe. On McCoy, yeah. Yeah, Grayson uh, trying to shut off the baseline there, and he just got a little too much body into yeah. him. So 32, Jones will pass it in. He'll look, gets it to Ramey. 
Over to number 12, Turner. Back to Ramey. Back to Turner. Back to Jones. He'll shoot a deep three on the wing, and it's good. So that'll make it seven. Well, did they already count it? 22 to 14. 22 to 14. Yeah. yeah, that's what it says, but that one got up there quick. So uh, Zink will have it into Titan Williams. Titan will make a move. Oh, but Doug ah, tries to get the lane stolen away by number 10, Paul Meter, and they'll call foul on Caden Zink. Yeah, he kind of reached in there. Yeah. I think that was a frustration foul as uh, he was trying to get back down the floor after turning it over. Seven turnovers now on the Senators. Paul Meter will have it. Over to Ramey. He'll shoot a deep three. No good. Rebounded by Lane. Over to Kenton. So Kenton will bring it up to try to calm this one down. Paul Meter guarding Lane tightly, not even letting him get an inch of breathing room. Over to McCoy. Back to Kenton. Kenton will look. Brings it up. Zink working hard to get open, but won't. Titan will have it. McCoy at the wing. Back to Kenton. Kenton will drive. Kicks it to Lane. Lane will shoot a jumper from about the free throw line. Air ball. Yeah, it looked like he got fouled there yeah. on that, and they didn't call it. Lane don't get too many fouls. So, uh, number oh, 12. Oh, he dropped his shoulder. Turner will have it, and they'll call it. That a, should go the other way. Yeah, that, that should, should be a foul on Turner. Yeah, he dropped his shoulder there, but he drives. But they're going to get Kate they're going to get Caden Zink for his second, which is not good either. Him and Lane both have two. Ramey will have it. Back to number 12, Turner. Turner will drive back to Ramey. Over Jones in the corner. He'll shoot a three. No good. Rebounded by. Oh, that's Piper a foul. Rebound. Centers will have the ball up. Yeah, 24 push Grayson McCoy almost into the bleachers down here. But yeah. uh, still Full an eight-point lead. From the Lancers to the centers. So McCoy will have to pass it in. He looks. He's going to have to get it. Kenton Chase will have it. He's going to burn Got everybody. Got to run out. And he's going to make yeah. the easy lap. So that will make it 24 to 14. Centers take a 10-point lead with 122 to go. Ramey will have it. He'll drive over to Burton. He'll shoot a deep three, and it's good. They're okay when they're hitting yeah. the threes, but we burn them up on transition, and we've got them all yeah. up and down. Kenton will have it. Kenton just burned everyone on that fast break. That's Kenton's a foul. getting fouled hard. And they'll get number 12, Turner. Jarrett Turner for his. First. For that. Is that his first? first? Yeah. Yeah, that's his first. Team's eight, though, so we're yeah. shooting free throws. So we're shooting. Kenton perfect up there tonight. I yeah. hope I didn't just jinx him. He's had a great second quarter here. He's uh, got two, Got four, his confidence six. here. And he misses uh, it. You did I did jinx. jinx him. So Jones will have it. He'll bring it up for the Lancers. Over to Paul Meter. He'll shoot a deep three. No good. Rebounded by Titan Williams. Titan will give it to Kenton. And the Senators will bring it up. So really good gameplay here by the Senators on defense. So Lane will have it. 40 seconds left, 24-17. Zink will have it. Oh, oh they're going to get a, a oh, charge. No way. That's horrible. <laughs> and Coach Sullivan's not very happy about that one. That's a bad call. Kenton just picked up his first foul, but that was bad. He, yeah. I mean, he almost, he chucked Kenton, and then Kenton tried to drive. And he tripped him. Yep. So Turner will have it. He'll bring it up. Over to Ramey, he'll shoot a three, and it's an air, air ball. ball. Paul Meter will have it, though. He's going to try to throw it in. Almost hits Alton over there. Another, Alton barely got out of the way. Another turnover there up to eight. So, Senator Crowd getting hype here. Knock, they could knock off the number two team in line. Yep, up right now, 24-17. This team usually scores about 30 points a half. Yeah, we've done a great job defensively. They only got 17 right now. This so Kenton will have it. I think he's going to hold for the last shot with about 10 seconds to go. This kind of reminds me of the IU game the other night. They played great defense, and that's what uh, the Senators have done. Kenton will drive. He'll get triple teamed over to Zink in the corner. He'll shoot a three. Oh. Uh, no good. So Senators going into the locker room up by 7, 24-17 with uh, – no time to go here so, in the first half. So uh, hopefully we'll come out and play like that in the second half. Yep, absolutely and great we'll first a, half for yeah. the Senators here. We'll take a break. Hear a word from the sponsors on your home for West Washington Center Sports, WWSR. 
Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today. We're also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. 13,000 feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Hey, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Commissioner, happy holidays to you, your family, your staff, and everybody with the IHSAA. We are back to uh, wrestling and bouncing balls and doing everything that we can because we're about a month away from uh, some championships in winter sports, are we not? We are. You know, right around the corner, we've got uh, girls swimming, wrestling, and the girls basketball sectional series all start within the next month. So, I mean, as we've talked before, teams had Christmas break to get their teams tuned up and, and all their stuff in for the year. And they got to go, they got to get better, and they got to get ready for tournament time. Yeah, you mentioned a girls pairing show will be here before we know it. It will be. It'll be a couple weeks out and uh, we'll un unveil those brackets and, and everybody will be sitting there at their watch parties and just seeing what their tournament draw is going to look like. You know what? I love following the kids and the coaches and the teams across the state when it comes to our tournament.
time of pairing shows just because it's excitement time. It's a time for gathering. You know, teams get together and, and watch uh, you and, and your presentation. And absolutely, mm-hmm. uh, we watch it on social media, and it's been incredible to watch uh, the popularity of those drawing shows. Oh, you're very kind. One of the things that we talk a lot about, obviously, are our student athletes, and that's why we're in business. But we also, you coached, I coached. Uh, we'll spend a little time talking about coaches. You know, holidays are just wrapped up. That's going to be one of the last times that coaches in basketball will have any significant time with their family until the tournament's over. And uh, everybody thinks they know how to coach. That's part of being a Hoosier. That's part of your DNA. If you're a, a Hoosier, you understand basketball. But you and I both uh, know how much it takes to do these things behind the scenes. And there's no way that coaches get the credit that they so richly deserve. No, they don't. And, you know, I can, I would tell you today that I sit in the seat that I sit in and get to do what I do because of a coach who took time in my life to mentor me, to challenge me, to teach me that I could be something that I didn't think I could be, found a little more of my game than I thought I could have. And, Mm -hmm. you know, those memories and those things that coaches do for kids is just phenomenal. And they do it selfless. They're not in it for themselves. You know, they're first of all, in most cases, they're teachers first. You know, they're worried about the classroom. The first degree kids are going to get in their life, that high school education. And, you know, I can't, I'm so thankful to do this in Indiana because we've got incredible coaches that care nothing more than about developing kids. You make a great point in the sense that I often ask people to tell me who besides their parents was the most influential person in their lives and in their careers. And the overwhelming response is it was a teacher or a coach. And uh, that's not by accident, for heaven's sakes. No, it's not. And, you know, I've always, uh, you probably know this gentleman, but there's a guy out there in my life named Herb McPherson who coached Mm -hmm. me for two years. And and Coach came to North Posey High School when I was a kid and helped me grow so much. And I'll be forever indebted to what he did. And, you know, every time I see him, I thank him for what he's done for me as a human being. There's certain people that you walk this life that you look at them, and it doesn't matter how long you've been away from them, but you still address them as coach. And I think that's such a term of endearment and what people mean to them. It's an exciting time. I, I used to think as a college coach, the month of January was the longest month of my life. But I think in the high school realm, it, it's an exciting month because you have tournaments, you're getting ready for tournaments, you need to get your game better, you need to improve individually and collectively as you head into the greatest time of the year, which would be tournament time for those of us in the basketball world. It is. And, you know, it's it, it, it's so exciting. And you're exactly right, Coach. You know, it's it, preparation is here. It's time. And, you know, teams are going to – they're going to suit them up and they're going to play. And there's so much on the line when they play those tournament games. You know, if you play well, you move. You get to play mm-hmm. the next day. Um, but if you don't play particularly well that night, you know, the season's over and you celebrate the successes of that season. And, you know, it's a time of a lot of joy. But there's also heartache involved because, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. there's there's <laughs> yeah. there's that special thing called high school basketball or high school athletics that, that just means so much to kids. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. All right, back here live at West Washington High School as the Senators enjoy a 24-17 lead here over the number two team in Class 1A as uh, they've got a great first half going defensively and led in scoring uh, by Lane Hoffler, but Lane didn't score the second quarter. All our points in the second quarter come on a uh, Jackson Cameron had a three, and then Kenton Chase had four. He five, had a nine, nine in that uh, in that quarter. Of course, he shot uh, two of the technical free throws, and you know uh, Edinburgh really got cold. They you know they've pretty much settled for threes, and that kind of surprises me with their height advantage. I would have thought they would have tried to drive the basket. Get especially, us in foul the, trouble. especially the Jones kid, you know, he's shot a couple threes. I mean, he can shoot them, but, you know, he's, what, 6'4", right. probably. He's probably a good 250. He's 250, 260, yeah. and, you know, that's Biggest a handful for us, you know, you know. so We're tall, but we're not. Yeah. We, we aren't. I'm surprised we, that they've settled for the three. I mean, I would have pushed it inside with that height and size advantage that they've got, but yeah. that may be their game plan, and, uh, 
That's that. We'll see what they do here in the second Especially, half. Especially uh, with uh, well, I mean, we've run the zone, but I mean, if you get him, the other players have been running the zone down low is McCoy, Lane, tight. If you get him or McCoy and Lane, the Jones kid, he would he would probably score about thirty if, oh, if yeah. they just gave it. If to you him get the whole those time. mismatches, yeah, he's he's just too big he's for six us. Six four, you know, he's just gonna bully him. Well, we'll start back here in the third quarter. The Senators will come out with their starters, McCoy, Zink, uh, Kenton Chase, Lane Hofler, and Titan Williams and for Edinburgh. They will start off. They'll inbound the ball. Paul Meter will get it into Turner. Turner gets it off. Far side to Dewey. Back to Turner. Far side to Paul Meter. Lob pass inside. Stolen by Hoffler. And, and Lane's hacked. getting hacked like three, he got, four he times. He got hit there. three, four times right there. Kenton Chase now to bring it up after the turnover. Another one against the Lancers here. Lane will shoot a jump shot. No Couldn't good. Get it Rebounded go. by Jones. Jones will bring it up. Jones will get cut off. Now kicks a far side. Goes in the corner. Back out there to uh, 24 Burton. Now back over to uh, Turner. Turner with it. Gets it out high. Paul Meter with it. He'll pull it down. Looks. Nothing there. Now finds uh, Jones in the middle. They kick it in the corner. Two shot. Two-pointer rebound by the Lancers. They kick it back over. 24 drives and scores as he's able to put it in. That's Burton. And yeah, Lane can't play too much defense with two fouls. So they he's just yeah. throwing his hands up there. They pull within five here, 24 to 19. Senators, Kenton Chase with it. Senators looking for their first points here in the second half. He drives, nothing there. Tries to get it. Now he does get it to Hoffler. Back out to Kenton. Kenton wheels, cut off top of the key, gets it off Caden Zink far side. He'll kick it to Titan Williams. Titan back over to Kenton Chase, and they're going to call him for a travel. So another turnover, first one of the second half for the Senators. So Something we got to uh, capitalize yeah. on. You know, they're starting to score a little bit more than they did the first half. So if we turn it over, they'll probably run the scoreboard up. Turner over to Paul Meter, back out high comes to Dewey. He'll drive now, gets cut off, free throw line shot, no good. And rebound inside by Edinburgh, and they score again. 24, 24 Landon Burton. Burton goes up and scores. That'll make it 20 on 24. Senators will take a timeout, full timeout. We'll take a quick break. Full timeout. We'll take a break. Hear a word from the sponsor and come back here. Senators leading right now 24 to 21. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at all right, back here live. Senators with the ball after the timeout here. They lead by three, 24-21. They'll get it into Hoffler. Full court pressure here by Edinburgh. Now they back off of it as Kent Chase will bring it up. They got a number 12 turner on Hoffler, a little mismatch. Yeah, that is. I'd try to find Lane I would here. Get, yeah, I'd get it to Lane. He, and he's calling for it. He knows it. Grayson McCoy with it. He'll kick it off to Zink here on the near wing. And Zink. they'll switch. Oh, oh Zink nice made move. It. He broke his wheels there. And he'll... McCoy will shoot it oh. oh, from the baseline that rolls off the front Not of the rim. No good. There. Rebound pulled down. Dewey will mm -hmm. drive. Throws up a one-hander and got it to go. That puts uh, centers back on top by one. Referees. 24-23. So uh, they've cut into it on a 6-0 run to start this second half are the Lancers, and uh, they pull within one there on that shot. They'll get it in. Well, the Senators to Kenton Chase. Paul Meter on him. He'll back off now as Kenton brings it up for West Washington. Crosses the timeline. And he'll take off with it. Gets it off to Zink. Zink looking. Nobody there. Now gets it back out to Kenton. Kenton drives. Far side. Takes it. Kicks to McCoy. Now out to Zink. Zink with it. He'll drive. Kicks it out to Hoffler. Stolen away by Dewey. Dewey will pull it down, drives the lane, goes in, and Lane can't do much with him. They'll get their first lead of the night, second lead of the night, 25-24. Yep, so Edinburgh Senators takes the lead. Behind. Kenton Chase will bring it up. 8-0 run here to start this third quarter. 
And Kenton's we knew they were talking. He drives. Nice he shot in the good. lane by Kenton as he scores again. And it's 26 25. Back the other way, Dewey with it. He'll drive, goes baseline, and got it against Hoffer. He's got two fouls. Lane's going to have to get a little more aggressive on Dewey. He's got six here in this third quarter. Dewey realizing Lane ain't trying too hard because of his fouls, so he's going to attack as much as he can on him. Yep, good point. 27 26, Edinburgh. Kenton Chase with it. Far side looking. Now goes to McCoy. McCoy pulls it down, and he double dribbled with it. Yeah, he carried it. So uh, Mason Cox will come in for McCoy, and Zink will uh, take a seat out, and Cameron will get Zink. So uh, new two players here for the centers. They'll inbound. Edinburgh gets it back after the turnover. They get it into Turner. He'll bring it up. Goes far side to Dewey. Back to Turner. Turner with it, looking. Nothing inside. Now goes in the corner over there to Dewey. He'll pull it out back to Turner. Turner inside as they get Jones and stolen, stolen by, by Cameron. Cameron. Good, good play there by yep. Jackson. Jackson with good defense gets it back over to Kenton. Kenton will bring it up, drives, blows past everybody, and got the runner. Boy, he's he's Kenton's looking got to score. Him. Yep. 28 27. Senators regain the lead. Turner now back the other way for Edinburgh. Gets it off. Three ball up in the air by Dewey. No good. Fight Battle for the rebound. For the board. That'll be Senator and Ball. And it'll go to Senators as they push him out of bounds. McCoy and Titan. Well, McCoy and Cameron actually fighting there against some 24 Landon Burton. Yeah, Titan uh, will inbound. Yeah, Titan's played pretty good on the boards tonight. He has. He's, He's done probably a good got about job. five or six. Titan will throw it in. Gets it in to Mason Cox, who checked in, and he'll get it back over to Kenton Chase. Kenton will bring it up for the Senators. 3.33 to go here in the third quarter. West Washington 28, Edinburgh 27. Chase with it. Looking. Now tries to set the offense. And he'll dribble out high with it. Kenton. And he's just playing cat and mouse here. Tipped away from him there by Turner. Now Kenton will get it back. Turner on lane, so I'm sure they'll look for lane here. Kenton will drive, pulls up free throw line. He gets Foul. fouled. Yep, late whistle, though. Yeah, a little wait there. Turner, I think that's going to be on Turner there. It was on Turner. That's Turner's second. Yep. Team's first here in the second half. First foul of the second half, actually. And that'll put Kenton Chase at the line. He'll shoot a couple free throws here as he steps up there. First one's up, and oh, it rims out, no good. Number 11, Travis Vital will come in for number 10, Riley Palmeter. So uh, Riley will take a seat there. As he played pretty good today. Yeah, he's played pretty well, especially that especially, first half. Yeah, played pretty good on defense side of the ball. He's been guarding Lane. He's been guarding Lane this half anyways. He didn't really Kent's guard him. second so free throw up, and it's good. So that gives Senators two-point lead, 29-27, three minutes to go. Turner will bring it up for the Lancers as he'll pull up there. Top of the key gets it off there to Jones. Jones back out to Dewey. Now inside to Vital. They'll go baseline as Turner will spin. Throws it up. Got it to go. That was Burton. Should have been a charge there on him. Yeah. Ties the game. 29 all as Burton hits the uh, runner from the sideline. And Kenton will bring it up for the Senators. I tell you, Kenton's got enough speed. He can blow by everybody. He'll get it off to Hoffler. Lane, now he'll take Guarded off. tightly by Jones. And Jones played really good defense right yeah, here. Yeah, he's been out on Kenton, out of Cameron. Now back to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. He'll drive. Pulls up in the lane. Kicks it out. Cameron, deep three. Got it. Nice shot, Jackson. Cameron's a two for two. He'll pick up his sixth point of the game. 32-29. So Senators back on top by four. Turner gets it off well, far three. side there to Jones. He'll spin, throws it in the corner. Three ball, no good. Vital reaching in a fight for the board. They're going to get Titan Williams. That's his first left, so yeah. he's good. Titan's played pretty well tonight. He has played on really the good defense. Side. He yeah. sure has down low. They haven't got too much. And that one just kind of bounced over him. He had to reach yeah. up and got a handful. 32-29. As Edinburgh will inbound, they get it out high. It comes into Jones. He'll kick it back to Dewey inside, and he traveled with it. Yep, sure did as Burton was trying to back up in the lane. Lane pulled the chair on him. He moved out <laughs> of the way. He was trying to back up, and he came. Lane did it perfect, and he moved, traveled. Second, second turnover of the second half for Edinburgh. 
Senators will get it inbounds. A little pressure here shown by the Lancers. But the pressure, but then as soon as it comes they in, they just off, back yeah. off. Yeah. Kent and Chase will bring because it up. Of the speed of the Senators. So he dribbles out high. Now on the attack, goes behind his back, gets it off the camera. Jackson with it, looking, throws it over to Titan Williams. Titan off to Kent. Kent with it, far side. Now he'll attack, pulls up free throw line, one to shoot, but couldn't, gets it off to Cox. Back out to Kenton, 120 to go here. Kenton will drive, kicks to Titan Williams. He'll kick it out to Cameron, now to Hoffle. Yeah, smart uh, there by Kenton not to shoot because I got 24 Landon Burton. Landon probably would have blocked it. Gets it off to Kenton. Kenton with it, looking. Nice patience here by the Senators. Up three, 32-29. Kenton on the drive, yep, and that's going to be a foul. As 24, Burton picks up the personal. That's his first. Team so second. 24, Burton will take a seat. 23, uh, Braylon Bryant will come in for him. And 32, Travis Jones will take a seat. And uh, number 10, uh, where's he? Riley Palmeter, he'll come back in. Caden Zink back yeah. in. He gives uh, McCoy Kenton. a break. Uh, actually, took Kenton, Kenton out. Yeah. yeah. Cameron with it, so Jackson will control it out top, gets it off Titan Williams' far side. Titan with it, looking, and he'll dribble out of it. Now gets to pick up his dribble, gets it back to Jackson. He'll pull it down, another three ball, couldn't get that. Nice rebound, rebound, rebound by inside Cox. by Cox. And it's a and he four gets a block, but he gets one. it back, gets it out to Hoffler. Mason Hoffler kinda. back out to Zink, and that's a foul. Oh. They're going to get vital for his second with 43 seconds. To go here in the third Good quarter. Fight there by Mason Senators Cox. 32, Edinburgh 29. Yeah, nice job by Mason inside battling he for that. He kind of shot it, even though it was four on one. Everybody was already down the floor. No one thought he was going to really get it because there's four people there and it's just him by himself and he comes down with it. So they'll call a jump. Jump ball. Senator ball, though. 37 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Mason Cox will inbound for West Washington. I tell you, with Kenton out, that really hurts us as far as handling Speed the basketball. Too. Lane yep. will have it. Lane pulls it down, cut off there. And he gets fouled, no call. Caden Zink now gets it. Caden will take off on the attack, kicks it out to Hoffler, tipped away from him and kicked away. Cameron's gonna chase it down in the backcourt. He'll get it back over to Titan Williams. Titan back to Cameron. 17 seconds now to Hoffler. That's Senator's got to slow it down. That's right a now. foul. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's getting. He's all over him. Vital will foul him there. That's his third. Yeah, Vital pick up his third. Yeah. Yep. Kent. So Kenton will come back in with Yeah, good. they're getting him back in. I mean, some people are fast here, but Kenton's really good with ball handling. So he'll get Mason caught. And Kenton's got a lot of speed, too. You know? Yeah, he does. We saw him on that fast break just blew by everybody. They'll get it into him in the backcourt with 10 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Kenton with it. Gets a screen from Lane. It's Takes a mismatch off now. for Lane. Pulls it down, goes free throw line, kicks to Cameron. He shoots it at the buzzer. It ain't going to no count. Good. It Even wouldn't have been good anyway. It. Yep. So that's the end of the third quarter here. As the Senators hang on, 32 to 29, we'll take a quick break. And come back with the fourth and final quarter here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream, and WWSR. When you hit that water, you're gonna want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. And stop knocking on wood. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. So we're back here, fourth quarter action. 32-29 uh, centers on top by three. 
So, Dewey will have it. He'll kick it to Jones. Over to Palmeter. Back to Dewey. Jones in the corner. He'll shoot a three. Off the side rim. Yeah, that's Fight over the, the rebound. Back. He'll get it's over the be. back on number 23, Landon Bryant. So, full court press still. But... I'm sure once we get it in, they'll back off like we've seen so far today. That's Bryant's first, the team's fifth. That's actually his second. Oh, is it? Okay. Second. Missed one on him. Kenton will have it. So, yeah, everybody will back off. Guarded by Vital. Kenton's kind of messing with him. Zink will have it. Make good move. Pulls up from the free throw line. A little too hard. And there'll be a foul on Jones. Well, the last one. I got tight. Titan, yeah. Yeah, over the back. Yeah. It's Titan second. Team second. So we're no, not really in any foul trouble here. Yeah. Titan with two, Lane with two, and Zinc with two. So we're all right here in the fourth quarter. Jones bring it up for the Lancers. Zone shown Dewey. here by the Senators. Over to Bryant. Back to Dewey. Pump fake. Gets it to Jones. Deep wing. Over to Bryant. Looks, gets it to Dewey. Dewey will drive. Over to Jones. Jones will drive. Looks for Bryant. He does. Vital will have it down on the block. He'll get it to Jones inside. No good. Rebound. Fight for the rebound. They'll call it out of bounds. Tipped off Kent and Chase yeah. there. So out of bounds to the Lancers. 24. Uh, Landon Burton will come in for Vital. And 12. Uh, Turner. Turner will come in for uh, who he come in? I don't know who. 11. No, that's Vital. Yeah. I don't know. So Dewey will have it. He'll look. Going to throw it all the way to the other wing to Burton. Burton will have it inside to Jones. Jones will have it, and they're going to call him for No, they got a foul on, on the floor on Kenton. That was late. Yeah, it was a little late, but I think he Kenton did get a piece has of him. foul because, you know, Jones is 6'4", Kenton's. He's only Jones got is two. Jones is 6'4", well, probably 250, and Kenton's 5'8", probably about 120. So, good foul there by Kenton. So, 10, Paul Meter will have it. Over to Jones, well, not Jones, but Dewey in the corner. Fight for the rebound. Jones will have it. He'll be out of bounds. Stepped on the out of bounds, so another turnover. Yep, good defense there. Yeah, nice good job boxing there. out. So, uh, center's still up by three, 32-29. Throw it into Zink. Stolen away, though, by Dewey, but the center's will recover as it goes out of bounds. Kind of a bad pass there by Tight. Yeah, it wasn't he very good. right there. They're just really guarding the inbounds here yeah. and making it hard for us to get it in. Haven't even gave – Titan will have it. He'll get it into Ken. Oh, Gets it back it. to Titan. Lane will have it. He'll bring it up for the Senators. Guarded tightly by Paul Meter. And they're going to get Lane for an over and back. Lane's not happy about that. Yeah, and I tell you, there should have been a foul. Paul Meter was yeah. all over him, and he's battled Lane all night long. Lane's Which just got to slow do. down a little bit. I think Lane's frustrated. He hadn't scored since the first quarter. Yeah. But the rest of them kind of picked it up and realized that. So Dewey will have it. He'll get it to Jones. Blocked by Lane, but he still gets it to fall. And he'll stare down Lane. Titan will have it. He'll bring it in. Well, Titan will pass it in to Zink. Zink will bring it up for the Senators. He'll look around. Trying to get it to Kenton. Gets it to Lane, though. So Lane will bring it out. Look around. Back to Zink on the wing. Kenton. Well, Zink will have it. He'll make a move. Drives. Pump fakes. Gets it back to Lane. Lane will have it. Guarded That's a foul. By Jones. That's Lane another foul. Back. And he fouled him twice. Oh, Lee. I know. <laughs> just, it's frustrating when Lane's trying to go and all they're doing is just hacking the tar out of him. That, it's what teams have done. I know I mean, he that, gets that every game, but Paoli done it to him you got to call the foul, though. I mean, when you're reaching in, that's the third there on uh, Jones. Titan will have it. He'll get it to Kenton. Kent will bring it up. 32-31. Center is up by one with 5.35 to go. Over to McCoy. Back to Lane on the wing. Lane will shoot yes. three and it's good. He needed that. He so, Senators that. up by four. 35-31. 5.25 to go. 
Turner will have it. He'll bring it up over to 10. Vi well, not vital, but uh, Paul, Paul Meter. Meter. Yeah. Tipped out Jones of bounds. rebounds it, but fight by McCoy, and he'll tip it out of bounds. So the Lancers will take the ball back. Jones will inbound it for him. He'll get it to number 24, Burton, over to uh, Turner. Back to Jones, over to Burton. And oh, he's wing, traveling. Pump fake. The travels, but no call. Fight for the rebound. And they'll get, They're going uh, the they'll other get way. Dewey for a yep, over call. The back. So that'll be Dewey's second. Uh, yeah, I think it's his second. Yeah, it's Dewey's second. And that's free throws for us because that yeah. was the seventh team foul. So that'll put uh, McCoy at the line. McCoy, not the. Oh, I haven't seen him. We haven't he seen him shoot free throws. He shot a lot of free yeah. throws, I don't think. So he'll He's step made up the there. layup, so he has two tonight. So I don't think McCoy's even shot a free throw this year. So we'll see what, if he's good at it right now. Shoot the first one. Ooh, oh, in, in and, and out. out. So, center's still up by four. Five minutes to go. 31-35. Burton will have it. Get it in. Paul Meter over to Dewey on the wing. Dewey will drive. Throws it off the backboard. No good. Fight for the rebound. Rebounded by Kenton, though. Lane goes down to the ground but gets up. Lane will have it. Back to Kenton. Kenton will calm it down. Nice drive. drive. He blew right past him. So Ken, Ken's probably got about 12, but yeah, 14 he's... now. So uh, Turner will bring it up. Senators up by six. Turner will shoot a deep three. No good. Rebounded. That was over the by back. By Jones, and they'll get a foul on Titan. I think it was a shooting foul. Yeah, it looked like he went over his back, I yeah. thought, but they're going to get Titan. Well, he shot it as soon as he got rebounded. He realized Titan was there, I think. Third Smart foul. play there by uh, Jones to just kind of just throw it up there. Third foul on Titan. Yeah. So Titan's got to be a little bit more careful. Titan hasn't set the bench at all. No, he's pretty much played the he's entire game. He's played really well. Oh, not a shooting foul. Yeah, they're going to say fouled him on the I floor. I was correct the first time. Yep. And these uh, Lancer fans are not very happy about that. Well, he went up for the tip, but he hadn't tipped the yeah. ball when he fouled him. It was kind of questionable. It could have went either way. Paul Meter will have it. Back to Turner. Turner will look. Gets it to Burton. Burton will look. They're looking for Jones. Turner will have it back to Burton. Over to Paul Meter. Paul Meter will turn around, shoot it. He gets his own rebound, board. shoots it again, and it's good. So center is still up by four. Full timeout for, for Edinburgh Lancer. So we'll take a quick break here on your home for West Washington Center Sports, WWSR. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. We're back here on WWSR. Senators down by, well, no, Senators leading by four. So uh, no press here by the Lancers. Kent will bring it up. Four minutes to go here yeah, in the four game. Four minutes to go in the game. So this could be a big win here by the Senators, knocking off number two. Jones will guard Kenton very tightly. They're running a kind of a zone. It's kind of weird how they're running it. Yeah, kind of a two-three trap out high yeah. here, and they get it inside Titan. They had Hoffler wide open on the far side. Titan had his back turned though. Yep. McCoy will uh -huh. have it. Tries to get it into Titan, but they'll get a yep. foul on number there. ten, Paul Meter. Yep. Bailed him out. So McCoy got lucky there, bells yep. him out. So Bad Paul Meter will pick up his second. And Titan will shoot free throws. So Titan shooting here for the Senators, and they'll get something on the floor, so they'll get that one off. Need to hit our free throws here down the stretch. 341 to go. Up four here and Titan at the line. It'll shoot the first one. It's long. Oh. Yep. Tried to backward and Titan's not one of the better free throw shooters I've heard. Jones will have it. He'll get the Paul Meter over to Dewey. Dewey will drive, shoots. Look at it. Oh. And one Titan on foul. Titan. Again, that's his fourth. Yeah, so Titan kind of struggling here in this third, fourth quarter. So 35 37, Senators up by two. Mason Cox will come in for Titan. 
Mason had a spark in that first half. He had a couple steals. I don't think he scored. And he had a couple rebounds, too. Yeah, so, so uh, Dewey, Dewey will shoot his first. Well, yeah, three-point play here. if he gets it. Yep. Can pull within one here. And he, he misses it. it. Rebounded by Hoffer. Oh, he got fouled. Foul. That's a foul. They're going to call a travel, but Lane actually, his butt never hit the ground. He kept his feet. He was smart about it because no one was near. Ooh, Kenton will have it. They got five guys wide open. No call oh, cards. Oh, yeah. my gosh. He kind of flopped on that one. Kenton knows it, but he ain't going to say anything. Kenton kind of tries to stay calm and just let stuff roll off his back. He's one of the better ones not getting mad at those calls. Kenton's third foul. Yeah. Up by two here, 37-35. Turner will have it. Dewey into Jones. Guarded tightly by Mason Cox. Over to Paul Meter. Over to Burton. He'll shoot a deep three. No good. Rebounded by Dewey. Dewey will have it. He'll shoot and score. So that will make the Senator lead tied. Well, the Senator is tied with Edinburgh Lincoln. Kenton will have it. He's going to try to calm this down. 2.53 to go. This little trap. And the lane. Lane will shoot his shoot. shot. Shot is good. 39-37. So, uh, is that a full? I didn't see uh, I didn't see. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, full time. Full -time out. So we'll take a quick break on your home for West Washington Center Sports. It's WWSR. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. All right, we're back here on WWSR. Uh, Senators got their lead back into, well, up by two. So 39-37, uh, 245. Lane with the last shot there. That's his first point since the uh, first quarter. Well, yeah, he had a three. He scored uh, five points in this quarter. He had a oh, three, he? and then he had oh, that yeah, two-pointer. Oh, yeah, he did have that three. So, uh, you know, yeah. he's up to uh, – Let's see, he's got nine, he's got 15 right now. Yeah, so. Kenton's really stepped up tonight. Yes, he Jackson's has. had two big threes. I think McCoy's had a two, and I think that's about it. 245 to go here. So, uh, Burton will have it on the wing to uh, Turner. Turner will look into Dewey. Dewey will look, drive, good defense by Mason Cox, and they'll get Lane for a foul. I think it's Lane, yeah, it's going to be a Lane there. No, they called oh, it on uh, Mason, Cox. Mason Cox. So that's a break for so, us. Yeah, really. break, break for uh, Dewey's had the hot hand here in this quarter. Yeah, they got to shut him down. He's going to shoot his first one, and it's good. Chance to tie it here. If he can get them both to go, he gets that first one. And he hits it, the second. So that'll tie it back up at 2.30 to go, 39-39. Zink will bring it up for his Senators, gets it to Kenton. Still running that trap zone. Yep. Zink will have it traps. over the lane. Well, he tried to get it down low, but they came quickly. Kenton will have it over to Zink. Zink will look, gets it back to Kenton. Kenton will try to drive the pitch back to McCoy, back to Kenton. Oh, that's what they call just three seconds in the lane. No one's in the lane. This though. guy, this guy here has been horrible all night. I hate to say that, but he has not been good. He must live up north. <laughs> Thirty-nine. Dewey will have it. He'll drive. Blocked oh, nice by block, Lane. lane. Zink will recover it. So Lane calms down, even though he got a three-second call. He gets a big block there. Zink will have it in the lane. That's a lane foul. Hit him in the right eyeball. In the nose. That kid has hacked him all night long. And I, meter there. That's his third. He should have about 12. That's what teams do, but this is the worst one I've oh, seen all night. They have got The worst one for not getting any calls. Yeah. I mean, they just really have hacked him. I'm, you know, if you're here watching the game, which you can watch it. 
You can see it. I mean, they're just smacking the tar out of him. He misses the free throw. So Dewey will have it. Gets it to number 24, Burton. Back to Turner. Over to Jones. Jones will look back to Dewey. Dewey will look down into Paul Meter, but gets it to Burton. Paul Meter will have it. Back to Burton. Burton will pump fake. Gets it to Burton. Well, Paul Meter in the corner. He shoots three. No good. Oh, that's over the Rebounded back. by Mason. Well, Dewey. Dewey will have it over the back there by Dewey, but he got lucky with that one. Dewey will have it. He shoots no good. And they're going to get a foul on number 10, Paul Meter. So I think that's his forward. No, I yeah. think, did they call that on us or they? They called that on Paul Meter. We got the ball. Yep. Red number three. That's on Dewey. Paul Meter's fourth there. That's Dewey. They called it on Dewey number on Dewey? three. Yeah, so it's his third. Was he even in there? Yeah. I didn't even see him. Yep. Lane's got to hit these two. We need these. Well, he got smacked there in the yeah, face while ago, and that kind of messed him up a little bit. He missed it. Missed the first one. We'll get another one. 39 all. Chance to take a one-point lead here, Caden. Yeah. It's nerve-wracking, you know. We, <laughs> we shouldn't really be in this game. I'm just going to be honest. We shouldn't be even close Yeah, but to we game. are. We just yeah. got to keep playing here. 40-39. He hits the second. 115 left to go in the second half. Dewey will have it. Gets it to Turner. Turner will look back to Dewey. Dewey will look around. Gets it to Burton in the corner. Burton will pump fake. Makes a new spins, but doesn't shoot it. Dewey will have it into Jones. Good defense back to Burton. Good defense here by centers. Into Jones. And Jones, uh, they're going to get a foul on Lane. Yep. Jones is the bigger, not taller, but just bigger and more physical, and he's just going to bully Lane around. That's the third on Lane. He's got to get aggressive now. He's got two yeah. to give here. You, when they get inside, he's got to be aggressive. It was like good defense that. there because Burton had a three, but Mason Cox was right there. So Cameron and Titan will both come in. Oh, he he misses it. his first one. Cameron will come in for Mason Cox, and Titan will come in for uh, Grayson McCoy. 54 seconds to go, 40-39. Chance to tie it here. Yeah. Well, nobody thought the Senators would be in this game, and I think that's what Edinburgh thought, but uh, he ties it. Yeah, I think they're a little uh, nervous, too, because coming into this, I thought they think they were nervous because they're without their best player. It's without four how? That, uh, I believe, is a full timeout. Full timeout. Yep. So we'll take a quick break on your home for West Washington Center Sports, WWSR. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, so we're back here on WWSR. Senators tie it. Right now, 54 seconds to go, 40-40. Senators in double bonus, so the Edinburgh Lancers have to be a little bit careful here. The Senators have the ball with 54 seconds to go. Well, you know, they've had great success this second half with that 2-3 uh, that trap, trap zone, and it's really worked well for them, and I'm sure we'll see that here when we get the ball up the floor. Kenton's got to be real alert with the basketball. They're not even going to press. They're just going to let Kenton bring it up. Looks like Zink will actually, bring, actually it up. Gonna bring it up. Yep. Jones in front. We've seen him in front in this trap zone. He moves really well for his side. Over to Cameron on the wing. Double they trap team. him. And they trapped him. They're going to call foul. Jump ball. No timeout. No timeout. Timeout. Coach, Good call there Coach by Chris Solomon. We'll quick. just stay here. That's a half. 30-second timeout, so we'll stay with you here. 44 seconds to go in this one, tied at 40. And we'll have the ball out of bounds on the far side of the court, away from the bench here. Yeah. So we just got to be real careful with the basketball. And you know they're going to trap, uh, especially going to try to trap, you know, Titan and Jackson, um, Zink and, uh, and, and uh, Kenton and Lane have to control yeah, the basketball. Yeah. Titan. Uh, We'll take it out, it looks like. A 
Lane, he's not even going to bother to run the inbound play because they know it'll just be all over him. Probably won't even get it into him. So they're still running there tap into go. Lane at the free throw line. Lane will try to make a move, but kicks it back out to Kenton. Over to Zink. Back to Kenton. The problem with this defense is if, you, if you're an offense and you know how to work it, it takes a minute. So it is, if the centers have worked it, kind of good. So if they can work it here, that run the clock off time. 20 seconds to go, 40-40, and they are running the clock off time. He about lost it. Well, some time off the clock. In the half. Lane will shoot. He gets fouled, fouled but rebound Titan. by Titan. Nice rebound. But they'll call foul on the hammered. floor. He got smacked right in the face. And he that's not good. They're probably going to have there. to put a Mason Cox. I mean, Titan like bad right now, but he's got to shoot his free throws. That so. was on Dewey. That's four on him. Hopefully Titan can hit one of these, one of these two ones. Really, we need both of them. Yeah, I'd like to see him hit both of them, but. Uh, that's Dewey's third, fourth. Fourth. Titan hits the first one. Gives the centers the lead 12.5. McCoy will come, well, Cox will come in for number three. Uh, Jax Cameron will get a timeout from the Edinburgh Lancers. That'll be a full <laughs> oh, yeah, timeout. No, it's going to be. Yeah, oh, yeah. Will so be we'll it. take a. Just stay here. Stay yeah, here. We'll stay here. So 12.5 12 seconds to go. So 41 40. One point lead. They got plenty of time to get it up the floor. Yeah. You know, Kenton's got to, or uh, Titans got to try to get this second free throw in, and then you got to set your defense, and you know that they're probably going to get it. I wouldn't. Uh, Dewey or uh, Jones has been their first options. Dewey's got uh, six points in this quarter, Jones with three, and uh, Paul Meter with two in this fourth quarter. So just got to. Got to try to hang on here a little bit. Eleven points by the Lancers in this quarter, and West Washington only uh, with uh, eight here in this quarter. So uh, the Lancers have made a comeback. Titans got to shoot a second one. McCoy will come in for him. So. Uh, Titan makes this one. We really need it. Yep, this will be a big one. Because they'd have to hit a three to win it, two to tie it. Titan makes got it. it. McCoy will come in for Titan. Titan's got four fouls. They might just foul because they're only in single bonus. No, they got, they're in the bonus. Just a yeah. single bonus, you're right. So uh, Turner will have it. He'll bring it up with 10 seconds to go. Over to Dewey, back to Turner, back to Dewey. Dewey will get oh, it. Oh, he pushed him off. Three in the air, off the no, front of the rim. No good rebounded by Jones. Don't oh, shoot it, but will they call it? They, they call, call the good. bucket. So we'll go to overtime. They call it I good. But I really think there was a charge there. There was definitely on a charge Dewey. on the baseline. Mason Cox really aggressive there, but that's got to be a charge. But no call. So we go into the first overtime period here. They're talking about it, actually. We may not. Yeah, he he pushed him off. No, they're not going to change it. They called the bucket good. But there was definitely a foul yeah, on the baseline. Dewey. And that wouldn't have been good, even if he does end up hitting that and they get the ball back. Because Dewey would have fouled out. Yeah, they, they missed this one on the baseline. They pushed Mason Cox about three feet out of bounds. Dewey did. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, they then got, they got the tip there. by Jones at the buzzer. It was good. So Titan we're tied come at back in. 42. Titan will come in for Cox. Cox, ooh, Cox doesn't look too good right now. And we head to the first overtime. Yeah, he went to the deck hard. I mean, he got shoved out of bounds. So centers will get, both teams will get three timeouts. Does the bonus stay? Yes. The yep. bonus does stay, so we're still in double. Effect. So, Senators really uh, playing really good tonight. You know, against oh, yeah, this number two at Edinburgh. Laces. No matter how this one ends up, they've played really well on the defensive end. Lane controls the tip. Kenton will have it. Kenton will track it down. So, Kenton with the basketball to bring it up. This Edinburgh Lancers team is out of this trap zone, so that, but they got to be careful. They got a couple kids with four to three fouls, so I mean, if they foul, they're really hurt, especially Dewey, you know, been the leader of this team in this half. 
So if he fouls, they're kind of messed That's up. That's a foul right there. Kenton with it. Kenton makes a move but gets it to Zink. Jones guarding Zink. Nice Zink move drives, by Zink. He got fouled. Triple team and they'll call a travel. And a turnover. Uh, he might have jump stepped a little bit, but man, it, it looked like he got hacked. He was getting hacked all night. Zink's not happy. 30, well, three minutes, 20 seconds to go. 42-42. Jones will have it. He'll look. And to Burton out to Turner. Turner will shoot the three. And it's no good. Rebound by Lane. That's a foul. Over in the back, but they ain't going to call anything. Kenton will bring it up with three minutes to go. Three or five to go. Kenton will look. He drives. Nice and move. It, and it's yes. good. So that'll be the first point of the overtime. Senator crowd hyped up here. Not too many Senator uh, high school students here tonight. Which this would have been one of the best games to come to of the <laughs> season. Yes, it would have. 44-42 West Washington. Bob pass down low. Oh, I thought he Good threw it Good defense by McCoy. And right, uh, number it. 10, Paul Palmeter. Palmeter will shoot and make it. So tied up 44 with 228 to go. McCoy will have it on the wing. Back to Kenton. Over to Zink. Zink will look. Tries to get it into Lane, but he can't. So Zink will dribble. Gets it into McCoy in the corner. Gets it back to Zink. Over to Kenton. Ken will call play. Set it up. McCoy will get a screen by Titan. Ken's going to have it up top and just wasting it. 158 to go. Ken's kind of just wasting the clock, hoping for a score here. Paul Meter guarding him. Over to Zink. Zink will pump fake. Gets it at the top of the key. Gets it back to Ken with a minute 45 to go. Whoa. Ken will make a move. Almost loses it, though, but he retains. A little too fast for his own good there. Yeah, Kitten's quick. I tell you, he can blow by about anybody. I wouldn't mind to see him drive the basket here. I'm sure that's what he's doing, but they're trying to drain some clock on him. Paul Meter guarding him tight. That's Paul a Meter's got to be careful because he's got four, I think. Ken will have it. Gets it to Lane. Lane will shoot a three from the wing. Oh, oh in and out. Rebounded by, uh, who is that, Turner? Turner, yeah, Turner. Yeah. Turner will bring it up. So, Break there for the Lancers. Ray usually hits those in and out, though. Yeah, that one was down Jones in the will cylinder. get it back to Turner. Over to Jones again. Turner will have it. Both these teams slowing it down. 55 seconds. Jones will shoot a deep three. No good. Rebounded by uh, Burton, but he'll get it back. Turner will think about the three. Gets it to Jones. Jones will look over to Paul Meter. Paul Meter will think about three. Doesn't shoot it back to Turner. Over to Jones for off. Uh, I thought he, he was going to shoot it. Yeah, I think they're going to waste the clock trying to get the last second shot. Jones will have it. He'll call play. Yeah, they're just going to wait. Call meter with it. 20 seconds. Back to Turner. Back to Paul meter now. They're looking for Dewey, but Kent is just all over him. Time, Time out. out by uh, Edinburgh. 13 well, yeah, seconds. Yeah, Edinburgh Lancers. Full. 13 seconds to go. We're going to stay here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll stay with you. 13.9. Lancers calling a timeout here to set something up. Basically, Tied at 44 in the first overtime here. Lucy Cox will come in for Zeke. Both teams with only well, one. Well, actually, he'll come in for Cameron. Both teams with one bucket here in this overtime period. It was 42 all at the end of regulation, and uh, both teams uh, with a bucket to tie it at 44 here. I would like to see Cox on uh, Jones and uh, Kenton on Dewey like they already had down well, there. Because Cox, yeah. he's not, he don't have the size, but Jones is who they're going to be looking for. Dewey's been their hot hand in the second half. So it's either Cox or Kenton on Dewey. Yeah. But, I mean. I, Two, I don't four, think six, Lane, ten, with no offense to Lane, but I don't think he can guard the Jones here. Dewey's got 12 points here in the second yeah. half, so he's been their kind of their go-to guy here, so we'll see what they do. But Jones. Oh, we're in the zone. We're in the 2-3. So uh, Jones will pass it in for the Lancers. Gets 13. it to Turner, their point guard. 
Turner will have it to Dewey. Dewey will look, trying to get it to Burton. The defense over. Looks at Jones. Jones will get uh -oh. it in. And he missed it. Missed it. So we'll go Rebound. to double overtime. Oh, my God. The Senators. Oh, he up. had a layup. They got it inside there to foul meter. He and misses he missed the layup. It. Lane with good defense. Jones. Jones is mad. And we go to number two. Turnover or so overtime number two. So we'll go to number, number two. two overtime. So, tied at 44, we'll go to the second overtime. It wasn't really good defense in my centers. We just got a break. Well, we did. I mean, he missed it, but Lane was there in presence. And Lane that, was uh, there, but he was really focused on Jones because I thought, personally, I thought it was going to go to Jones. Well, Jones, I, had, he had the hot hand late in that fourth quarter. I can't believe both teams just had one bucket in that overtime period. You know, we went four minutes, but the centers ran a lot of clock. Then they got it back and Which ran off. Which was a sketchy time. because yeah, they ran off a lot of clock and, you know, got to come back out here in overtime number two here for both teams as uh, we head into the second overtime tied at 44. Senators will come back out on the court with Mason Cox, Kenton Chase, Lane Hofler, Caden Zink, and Titan Williams. Um, Titan, the only one with four fouls. Lane with three. Kent Titan's with played three. aggressive tonight, yes, especially on the defense side of the ball, which is really what we needed. Lane will jump it up. Oh, and no one tipped it, so they'll re-jump. They'll have to re-jump that one. Because he didn't. No one touched it. Yep. Number they both jumped a little bit earlier there. Dewey jumping for Edinburgh. Hold up. Putting the time four back minute, on yeah, the clock. Yeah. Because nobody touched it. Dewey will get it for the answer. Controlled by Edinburgh, yep. Turner will get it. He'll bring it up. Over to Dewey. Over to Paul Meter. Back to Dewey. Pump fakes. Gets it into Jones. Jones will drive. Kicks it out to Turner. He'll shoot the three. No good rebound by Caden Zink. Good job there by yeah. Zink. Kent will bring it up for the centers, crosses the timeline. I'm surprised they haven't went back to that trap. That yeah, that trap, trap, trap really It gave well. us fits. Guarded tightly by Turner. Kent will look around, tries to get it over to Titan. but I would just isolate Kent yeah, one-on-one -on -one back there by out of the way because I don't think they got anybody that can stay with him off the dribble. I mean, they've had Paul Meter on him. He blew by Paul Meter twice. He blew by... Uh, Turner twice. Tight looking. Trapped. Got it to Hoffler. And they'll give you a timeout, timeout by Coach Sullivan. 2.58 to go. 44-44 still. Senators in the double bonus. Edinburgh in the single bonus. So. Uh, no really. Well, McCoy will come in for Cox here. Yeah, they Edinburgh put, hasn't really subbed too much. No, they put Since McCoy the in court. for defense yeah. uh, a lot of times, and that's why he come back into the game. Yeah. But Senators with the basketball here, they just got to find somebody. I, I tell you, I think our best option right now, the it's way Kenton. that they're guarding uh, Lane, would be to let Kenton, you know, get everybody clear out and clear let out, him yeah. just drive because they don't have anybody speed-wise that can stay with him off the dribble. Uh, Kenton's had a great game here tonight. Uh, Got two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, ten, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen points for Kent. So, uh, Senator Ball McCoy will pass it in for the Senators. Still 44 44, 258 to go in double overtime. So, McCoy will pass it in, gets it to Zink. Guarded tightly by Dewey. Zink will make a good move. Back up to Kenton. Guarded by Paul Meter here. Now Burton. Oh, oh almost, almost stolen. stolen away by Jones. And it is. It tipped it out of Hoffler's hands, and Caden Zink tried to save it but couldn't. So turnover by the Senators there. Good defense by the Edinburgh Lightsman there. Tied so at 44. Turner will bring it up. 
still in the 2 3 zone for the Senators. Jones will have it deep wing. Back to Turner. Well, not Turner, but Paul Meter. Turner will have it on the deep wing. Back to Jones with the logo. Back to Turner on the deep wing. Over to Jones. Paul Meter in the deep wing. Looking. Dribbles. Gets it to Jones. Back to Paul Meter. To Dewey. Dewey will look. Driving. Stolen away by Titan. Nice Lane job, Titan. Two minutes to go. 44 44 still. Kent will bring it up. Slows it down. Kent will make a move. Doesn't shoot though. Lane will have it. Pump fakes. Gets it off to Zink. Now he needs to take it. Yeah, he can't. yeah he, Jones can't. There's no way he can Jones stay is with fast, him. But he ain't that fast. Yeah. He'll call a foul. Yeah, that's a push. That's his fourth. So Kent will go to the line. He's hit all the free throws tonight. I can't believe they haven't had anybody foul out. Yeah. Jones hasn't really fouled. He's been, he's been kind of. He's got four. Does he actually? Yeah. Well, dang, I didn't know he had four. <laughs> yeah. He sure does. Yeah, he had two early. And oh, then, did he ask for Yeah. Oh, oh Kent misses Kent the first. Missed. Needs this one here. Because Senators have no one rebounding. Kent will make the second one. 143 to go. 45 44. Senators up by the way. Turner will have it for the Lancers. Get it to Dewey. Dewey will pump fake. Doesn't shoot it though. Back to Turner. 130 to go. Dewey pump fakes again. Dewey's getting tired. You can tell just by the way he's moving. He made a nice move and there. And he moves it, but rebounded by Lane. Oh, that's a foul. And they'll get a foul on Dewey. Jump, jump ball. ball. How do you call jump ball? But Senator Ball. It's Senator Ball, though. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Full court pressure here, and that's Whoa. horrible. That is bad because – there was four guys around Lane and Hoffler, that, and he had the ball. Out. Yeah, that would have been that his That would have been on Dewey. But we get the ball back. So Kenton will bring it up. up they one. don't pressure him. So, Paul Meter on Kenton. Kenton will have it. Tries to make a move. Stolen away by Paul Meter. Paul Meter will have a wide open lane, and he makes it. So, Senator is down by one, 46-44. Kenton will have it. He'll bring it up. One minute to go, 45-46. Yeah, that was another foul yeah. that should have been called. He reached in and basically pushed Kenton down and took off with the basketball and got the layup. Kenton needs some help. Yep, I got to come Titan and get it. have it. Well, Looking. Nobody wants over it. Over McCoy. Yeah, no one wants it. All these, they're nervous. Lane would be the only one who really wants it, but I don't know if he wants it because the way he's played tonight. Lane will have it. Almost loses it. Tries to drive, shoots it. No good. That's horrible there. He can't he rush it. He got fouled yeah. there. But there's can't no rush call. It. McCoy try, almost steals it, but they'll get a foul on McCoy. Good foul there. Good foul. So they'll shoot their one. That was bad. Elaine got fouled on yeah. the shot. No call. And then they call that. That's on McCoy. So Burton will shoot one for one. So Lancer's up one, 46-45, Burton at the line. Misses, Misses it. Misses it, Lane Rebounded Hoffer by with Lane. the rebound. 20 seconds, we got to go. Come on, Kenton's going. Yeah, He'll if bring we can hit up. the bucket, let Coach Kenton drive. Coach Sullivan calls the timeout. Oh, Kenton had a wide lane. That's your option, I think. You, I think you isolate Kenton, let him drive the basket because they don't have anybody that can stay with him off the dribble. And no. he showed that this, this whole game. I mean, he's had a great game. And Lane, you know, he's just frustrated because there again, like we've talked about all year, he's been fouled, hacked, Honestly, poked in the eye. I <laughs> mean, it's a risk, but there hasn't been too many calls. But if you can get it to Lane, they foul him. Well, that's true, too. He's a good free throw shooter. You definitely want it in either Kenton or Lane's hands because they're the only two that are real comfortable with the basketball under these pressure Yeah, we saw Kenton situations. hit the – game winner against Salem in the holiday tourney for third place. So uh, we know he can do it. Really, I thought that whole play there and the holiday tourney was going to Lane. I really never, Kenton, Kenton played good, but I didn't think he was going to have the ball there. You know, Lane had 32 in that game. Yep, 46-45. Senators with the basketball with 14.8 seconds. 
and a chance to knock this team off in double overtime here. But you got to get a shot to go down here, and we'll see what they do. They come back on the floor with McCoy, Williams, Zink, and Kenton will have Kenton. it with 15 or well, 14 seconds. Over to Zink, back to Kenton. Kenton will look back to Zink, back to Kenton. Kenton will look There's at Lane. Lane. Over to McCoy, back to Lane. Lane will shoot a three. No, oh. no good. And it just Edinburgh barely Lane. rimmed out. Edinburgh Lance is win, but oh my Senators goodness. can't be mad at themselves there. Had a good look at it. They had a real they good look at it. They can't be mad at all because, I mean, Edinburgh is number two team in the state for 1A. So yeah, it's just a shame. And you that's had a to, heck of a game by the Senators. Had to lose this game because they, they played lights out here tonight. Best we've seen them play all year. And, you know, this young team coming together, you know, and just a shame that uh, they couldn't get the win here, but they got the look they wanted, and that ball bounced two times off the rim and just didn't go down. Uh, you know, I really thought the time before that Lane was fouled and uh, should have been a call there, but uh, didn't, didn't get it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a shame the Senators lose here by one tonight. We're going to add things up. I don't know if Coach will come out or not, but probably be good to talk to him if he does. So. We'll take an extended break, add up our stats, and come back here uh, on your home for Senator Basketball, WWSR. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Expertise. Resources. Commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, back here live as we uh, fall to Edinburgh here in double overtime by 1.4645. Add things up here for the game tonight. Uh, the Senators uh, just just can't get over the hump, I tell you. But I like the grit they showed tonight. They played tremendous defense uh, against them. <laughs> you know, the number two team in the state and, uh, and played – really really well I thought uh, to put themselves in a position to try to win the game and they almost did really thought the fouls um, you know weren't called a couple of them pretty blatant and I don't want to cry sour grapes because Edinburgh's a good basketball team but uh, you know I really felt like that we got fouled a couple times when they should have been called and we didn't get a call at all oh uh, yeah I mean the Senators played really well, you know, you don't beat too many uh, number two or three teams in this. You don't, well, really, we shouldn't even have been in the game. They should have blew us out at least by 20 or 30. So the Senators still struggling. Well, they're not really struggling, but they played well tonight um, against a very, very good Edinburgh team. So, uh, you know, and the Edinburgh teams, they're really, uh, really, uh, wow. Mine just went blank. <laughs> well, they're really just, experienced. They yeah, are. Yeah. And they got laden. a lot of height. 
Yep. They, they got do have what, that. one, two, three, four, five, six, six seniors, and all of them played. And so, uh, you know, they just uh, played there in double overtime. They didn't really out hustle us. They just got to play better defense than us and got the win. You know, they they really should have won it after in the fourth quarter. Shouldn't even win it overtime. Uh, the uh, palm meter kid had a wide open layup and just missed it. Probably nervous and just missed that one. So uh, Senators got it to overtime, but couldn't capitalize on single overtime. So they pushed it to double and then lose by one. So Senators fought hard tonight against this very good Edinburgh Lancers team. They'll probably go pretty far in the tournament when tournament time comes. Yeah, 47-46, our final score here tonight. But uh, just a, a great effort by the Senators. I mean, they, they played extremely well. As I add things up here, we'll wait for Coach to see if he comes out. But uh, just a great, great effort here team-wise by the Senators here this evening. Yeah, they uh, just uh, couldn't capitalize in double overtime. So uh, we'll come back whenever our next game is. You still adding up stuff? Yeah, I'm still adding here, trying to get everything added up here. But uh, just a great, great effort. That's all you can say. I mean, they played really well, and uh, you know, hopefully, can come back here and uh, and uh, get the second half of the season underway. Uh, Lancers only with the four guys scoring in the game. You know, to get their 47. Um, Looks so like I'm trying to get it added up here to. Could you go any slower? It takes a little while. <laughs> we, we we don't have the see it. You're stats. Taking forever. You just keep talking. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, usually we'd be home by now, but. Well, we're not. So we're trying to add this up. We're waiting on Coach anyway, so it doesn't matter. We oh. got to talk about something here until he gets out. Hopefully, we'll see if he comes out. But. Uh, Want to give him that opportunity if he wants to, and uh, hopefully get a chance to talk to him here as uh, we wait for him to uh, come out of the locker room. Um, yeah, they were led in scoring by Dewey, who had 15 in the game. Jones had 12. Burton had 11, and Paul Meter with nine. So. Uh, that was the uh, that was the final scoring for them to give them their 47, and then the Senators to run down their stats from the first uh, or for the ball game here. Jackson Cameron had two threes for six points. Uh, Grayson McCoy had a bucket for two. Lane Hoffler uh, in the game had uh, three two-point field goals, three three-point field goals, and uh, was two of three from the line for 17 points. Kenton Chase, six two-point field goals. He was seven of 10 from the free throw stripe. So Kenton ends the game leading score with 19. And then Titan Williams had two free throws for two to give the Senators their uh, final point tally here tonight. So great effort. I mean, that's, that's uh, about as well as you can play. And, you know, against a great team like Edinburgh, I felt like our defense was really good, and if we can continue to do that, uh, we're going to be all right uh, coming up down the stretch, I believe. Yeah, I mean, uh, played really well, and then we just fell apart there in that double overtime. Couldn't get it. Lane in and out three. It was a really good uh, shot, but it just couldn't fall for him. So Edinburgh gets a win. Uh, really good hustle like and uh, effort by the Senators tonight. Uh, you know, against this number two Edinburgh team in the state for 1A. So uh, we played really well, and hopefully we can come back whoever we play next and get a win against them. This should give us a little confidence booster going forward. You know, we shouldn't have been in this game probably. I think we were predicted to lose by 20 or something like well, that. On paper, yeah. I mean, John Harrell had it, uh, I think, 18 or something like that, which he's usually pretty close, but – you know, I think the difference was just the defense. We we played extremely well defensively, and as he's, you know, we get we're getting a, another guy to step up and try to score. And Kenton done that tonight, and I thought he played tremendously well in this uh, contest here this evening. Don't believe Coach is going to come out. He he uh, been in there for a while, so and I've seen some of the guys come out. So we'll uh, 
we'll let him. It's been a tough weekend for him. He lost by a bucket last night, and then tonight here losing by one on the chance to win the game, though, and that's all you can ask for. So we want to thank all our sponsors. Thank everyone for tuning in. Thanks to the Professor Craig Akers for great work here uh, tonight, getting us all set up and ready to go. So we'll be back next Friday night as the Senators will uh, – play let's see here i gotta i don't remember who we play next friday but uh, we'll get it looked up here here we go we play south central uh actually on is that tuesday night south central for the 11th yeah we'll be tuesday night so we play actually tuesday night and then uh, friday night so both those games here at home so we'll have them for you here on your home for senator sports so that's all the time we got here tonight, and we say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to Mr. Akers.